Today, I wanna to show you a demo of Architect. I believe Architect provides one of the best developer experiences when building applications on serverless platforms. It's an open source project that's part of the JS Foundation and is currently used to manage the Amazon family of serverless products. It follows the philosophy of a functional web app where you have your business logic in functions, you have persistence with managed databases, and lets you explicitly define all the different pieces of infrastructure that makes your application work. The Architect CLI gives you a project layout. All this is customizable, but it has two very important concepts. A top-level manifest file, which declares all the configuration for your project, and folders for functions for different kinds of purposes. The Architect CLI has an opinionated project structure. All of this is customizable, has some very important features. It has a top-level manifest file, which it calls app.arc, which declares what the different pieces of your application are. It has folders to separate the different pieces. Now, what is a piece of a project? In this world, they are functions with different responsibilities. So for architect, we have HTTP, which has functions responsible for all HTTP events. That would be get requests, post requests, etc. It has a queuing system, in this case, backed by Amazon SQS, has an event pub sub system and scheduled function execution, as well as function execution based upon WebSockets or changes to databases. Architect separates these different concepts in its project manifest file by something it calls a pragma. In our case, we have a pragma to configure the app name. We have a pragma to configure specifics around the Amazon hosting. And then we have pragmas for each different concept in an architect project. HTTP, for example, lets you use HTTP pragma and then define all the different routes. The tables pragma lets you define the DynamoDB tables and the different configurations you can have for DynamoDB. Likewise, scheduled pragma lets you declare execute my function on this schedule. Every single function can have a customizable path and be anywhere you want in your project. Additionally, each pragma comes with a local simulator, allowing you to run your functions on your own computer without being connected to the internet. Plugins allow developers to extend architect to support any kind of pragma. It lets you control the three development experiences from code generation to local simulation to deployment. Amazon provides CloudFormation to orchestrate all the different services that go into an architect project. However, each Pragma is controlled by its own plugin and can control its own deployment. Now let's give it a try. The Architect CLI will generate a sample project structure and an example app manifest file. In our case, it's created an HTTP Pragma with a GET request. We can see that it's created the folders SRC, HTTP, and GET index which is what it calls a forward slash, provides us with a JavaScript file to return some HTML and even a local function config saying that this function should be running Node.js 14. Maybe let's just be safe, give it a timeout of one second. Now let's fire it up and see what happens. Well, we have a local environment ready. Let's click on this. And now we've executed our first HTTP function. Since each function is executed only on the request, we can go and, and just edit it right here and say, hi from my computer, save it and refresh the page. Now let's go one step further. I would like to add a scheduled function. So looking at the docs, I can see I can add a scheduled function called daily update buddy and run it once a day. Let's call ours download info about architect. I'm going to run Arcanet again. And it's going to go and create a scheduled folder with my function. It's capable of scaffolding functions for any kind of pragma. WebSockets are another good one. WebSockets are leveraged by API Gateway and use three different events. If I run arcignit, it's going to create a WebSocket folder 
and it's going to make me functions for connect, disconnect, and the default message handler. Last but not least, Arcandle's deployment. I don't have Amazon Web Services set up on this computer, but if I wanted to, I would just type arc deploy and it would go to a staging environment. Arc deploy production would go to a production environment. When working with a team, you can easily add these commands to a GitHub Actions or other CI pipeline, allowing you to associate a git commit with what's running in an environment. I hope this brief overview of Architect shows some of the power of the CLI, some of the power of having plugins behind each pragma that are responsible for code generation, simulation, and deployment, and the ease of treating your infrastructure as code, managing a single manifest file to declare the intent of the functions of your project. Thanks.